So we need to raise our level of certainty. So I want to increase your understanding of subluxation and chiropractic. I want to teach you the difference between genetics and lifestyle. Let me tell you something that's very interesting. According to genetics, between one and a half and two and a half percent of all health problems are actually genetic. I want you to think about that for a second. According to genetics, actually one and a half to two and a half percent, depends what you read, of all health problems are actually genetic. Why does that matter? Well, I have arthritis in my low back. It runs in my family. Right? Oh, the reason I'm this way is it, it runs in my family. I'm going to teach you, I'm going to show you research today to show you that this isn't my interpretation of genetics. This is actually the truth of the way it functions. But our genes haven't changed in 40,000 years. You know, maybe you don't believe we've been here for 40,000 years. Let's please not have that debate today. We'll argue that another day. But the reality is, according to science, our genes haven't changed in 40,000 years. So if someone's going to do a family history on you, unless they're going back about 60 generations, it's a waste of time. Because your genes haven't changed in 40,000 years. Why is that interesting? You know, human beings are more genetically similar than apples. You can take a person from Africa and breed them with a person from Australia to work great. We're genetically very similar. You can't do that with certain types of apples. <laughs> What does that mean? There's never been a hunting and gathering society in the history of the world ever found to have heart disease, cancer, acne, asthma, attention deficit disorder, menopause, depression, anxiety. What's the difference between, genetically, what's the difference between a hunting and gathering person than you? Nothing. Not a single thing. Nothing. So if you are genetically exactly the same as them, and they don't have those problems, how could it possibly be your genes? I mean, unless you're telling me you have low back pains because your Levi genes are too tight, <laughs> it doesn't run in your family. One and a half to two percent of all health problems are genetic. So if a hundred new patients come into your office, there's a chance that two and a half of them actually have a genetic condition. The rest don't. That's a little unsettling, isn't it? I'll take questions at the end. Thank you very much. It's a little unsettling, right? Why is it unsettling? Ultimately, it makes you responsible, doesn't it? Ultimately, it makes you responsible for your own circumstances and your own health and your own life. It's not easy telling that to people, right? It creates a little confrontation in the doctor-patient relationship. It'd probably be a little easier to say, uh, it runs in your family, take this. A lot less confrontation, wouldn't there? 